Good evening, class. Uh, this is Mr. Franz, and uh, we're going to cover tonight Chapter 5 in the fourth grade book. The title of the chapter is, give me a second here, get the right page in my book. I assume you all have your books in front of you to Chapter 5, and please open them up and follow me as, as I read through them. Okay, chapter five, the title is, We Are Called to Follow Jesus. Okay? So, you ever need help to do something? When we grow strong in our faith, it gives us strength to put that faith into action in the world around us, even when it is hard to do. Okay. So we're going to look at first chapter, uh, I'm sorry, it's titled, We Are Called to Follow Jesus. Jesus teaches us how to live. During his tenure in Palestine, Jesus showed us how to be the best persons we can be. By his words and actions, he taught us how to live holy and happy lives. Baptized Christians try to live like Jesus and follow his teachings. We are called to bring his life and love into the world. Jesus said, I came that you, you might have life and have it in the full. Okay, so we're called to follow Jesus. So, um, what are some ways we can work with Jesus to help others? In what ways can we do that? Well, we can do that by sharing our time, our treasure, being kind to others, etc. So three, so three things we can all do is pray, sacrifice, and help others. Now, remember a couple years ago, there were a couple nasty uh, hurricanes uh, in Texas and in Florida, okay? And there's some other ones this, this past year. So uh, so how can we put our faith into action uh, using these three actions to help those affected in those Texas and Florida? Well, we are called to share God's, our love and concern for all people, okay? Now, how about at your school, at your home, team sports, at church ministries? So sacrifices for people uh, would be for giving money, treasure, clothes, food, and then uh, the recent um, baby clothes drive that we had at, at, at church, and also the current Thanksgiving uh, food bag drives that, that actually actually it ended I think last uh, last week or may continue on for a couple a couple of weeks. A lot of families brought in bags of food to help with the poor, which is very good. How about kind words to help people feel happy? Examples would be saying hello, thank you, please, I'm sorry. May I help you, please, etc. Kind deeds for others. Running errands. Putting things away at home. Asking another child to play. With you and your friends, etc. Okay. Now let's turn to page 38 in your book, please. And I will read... Read it. You notice the, the picture there of, of Jesus and uh, uh, a, young, a young lady and her parents. Jesus showed love and concern, is the title of it. A man named Jairus rushed through the crowd to reach Jesus. He knelt before Jesus and said, My daughter has just died, but come. Lay your hand on her, and she will live. Jesus went with Jairus to his house. 
He took the little girl by the hand, and she got up. Jesus brought light, gave life back to her. Jairus and the girl's mother were filled with joy. Okay, so that's an instance where Jesus showed love and concern. So how did he help him? He brought the little girl back to life. And what did Jairus have in regard to Jesus? He had faith by asking him to help. While we give love to family and friends, we are called to share this love and concern with others, as we are all brothers and sisters, even though we may not know their names personally. <clears throat> okay. Uh, let's see what we got here. So what should we do when we, when we hear about disasters and uh, tragedies, and especially like the uh, COVID, COVID uh, pandemic that is about us. <clears throat> Praying for people, having concern for them, and of course, doing what we can by wearing masks and keeping social distance. Okay. Okay. Page 39, <clears throat> and that's titled, Jesus Forgiving Love Healed People. And I will read it to you. <clears throat> Excuse me. One day Jesus was teaching in a house. Many people gathered to hear him speak. They crowded into the house and around the door. In the crowd was a paralyzed man who wanted to see Jesus. Because the man couldn't get into the house, his friends carried him to the roof. They lifted up part of the roof until they had a large opening. Then they lowered the sick man on his mat into the house. Jesus stopped teaching. He looked at the sick man and said, Child, your sins are forgiven. Then he cured the man's body. The man got up, picked up his mat, and walked out in front of everybody. Okay? So, about that, how can we tell that the, the paralyzed man had good friends. Well, they brought him to Jesus, didn't they? And what was the first thing that Jesus did? Jesus forgave the man's sins. But why did he forgive his sins before he healed them? And that's to show that God forgives sins, that being forgiven is more important. We can't work miracles but we can forgive people who have hurt us. Okay. Um, let me read the, the second part of the page. It is titled, Jesus Prayed to His Father. The apostles watched Jesus when he was at prayer. They could see that he knew how to speak to God our Father. Afterward, they came to him and said, Lord, teach us to pray. Then Jesus taught them the prayer that we call the Lord's Prayer. We should try to pray it every day. In this prayer, we praise God and ask for all our needs. We ask to be forgiven as we forgive others. We also ask to be saved from evil. Okay, now we got a couple little kind of a question things. Um, okay, let's see. Let's go through. Got a couple little things. Activities. Okay. 
um, Caesar, or Caesar, sat next to Nathan on the bus. These are some examples. Okay. He said unkind things about Louis. Louis. Louis heard the boys talking and felt hurt and very angry. Nathan got off the bus and Cesar watched Luis going through his baseball cards. He asked Luis if he could see them. So kind of think to yourself, how would you portray yourself in, in that instance? And what would you do to the, uh, with your friends? Okay, I got a second example. Grace got angry when Chloe embarrassed her. Chloe told the other girls that she didn't like the new dress that Grace wore to school. Now Chloe wants Grace to go skating with her. Grace doesn't want to be embarrassed again. Okay, so what do you think might happen in that instance? Okay, here's the third one. Angelo didn't follow Tyler's instructions and broke Tyler's kite when he used it. Tyler felt angry, but Angelo said he was very sorry and would be much more careful in the future. Now he wants to try out Tyler's new model airplane. What do you think Tyler would do in this instance? Would you allow him to do it? Would he be angry with him? And there's the fourth example or instance. Elena feels bad because she can't draw as well as her brother Salvador can. Salvador boasts about the contest he's won and he teases Elena about her drawings. One day, Elena tears up one of Salvador's pictures. Now both children feel angry. How could that have been avoided? What will go on in the future so that they all become good friends again? Okay, that's page 39. Now we go to page 40. Now, on page 40, it's really the Lord's Prayer, and this is an activity. Now, if you brought with you uh, for the lesson pen or pencil and some sheets of paper, it'd be helpful, then you could write down some answers. So this is whereby you have to fill in. So it's the Lord's Prayer, and you would print the phrase from the Lord's Prayer that matches each sentence. Okay? So I will read the uh, first kind of uh, sentence to that, and then you, if you could, either within the book or in the sheet of paper, write down what you believe the, the, the words would be. Okay, so it starts out with, God, everyone's loving Father, has given us life. And you fill in what you think would be the first couple words. And I think it's going to be our Father. Heaven is where God lives. And then the next line down, you're going to write in, and I believe you would write in, who art in heaven. We pray that all, that all people will respect God in God's holy name. And you write in, Hallowed be thy name. We pray that all people on earth will belong to God's kingdom and do God's will. And there I believe the words would be, Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. We ask for food and for the living bread, the Eucharist. 
we ask for the things we need every day. And I believe the, the words would be, give us this day our daily bread. We ask God to forgive us our sins as we forgive others. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. We ask God to help us in time of temptation and lead us not into temptation. We ask God to keep us from all evil, especially sin. But the last line would be, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Okay. So, a couple questions to go over that. So, why is God our Father? Because He takes care of us and we are His children. What do we say about where God is? Who art in heaven. Okay. How do we show reverence for God's name? By using it in prayer and by speaking of God's love. What are trespasses? There are sins. What must we do for God? What must we do for God to forgive us? We must forgive others. Okay. That's page 40. I'm on page 41. If you want to turn to that, please. <clears throat> and the title of the page is People Who Act Like Jesus. <clears throat> and the reason there are three examples of people who have done what Jesus taught. We're going to read each story, and then you could write the word that matches the details, the de excuse me, the deeds described in the story. Prayer, serve, or forgive. Okay, so the first story is, a young driver made a serious mistake. She drank too much and then drove. This caused an accident that took the lives of a young man and young woman. While in prison, the driver became very ill. Mrs. Reyes, the mother of the young woman who had been killed, wrote a letter to the state. In it, she asked for the release of the driver who is responsible for the death of her daughter. Mrs. Reyes knows how to forgive. Second story. While troops were being sent to the Middle East before the war with Iraq, the fourth graders at Ascension School set aside a special corner in their classroom. There they took turns asking God for peace. These children know how to pray. Third story. When Sister Emmanuel visited Egypt, she found that thousands of people lived in the garbage dump, dumps. This is where they made their homes. They were bare with dirt floors and roofs made from palm leaves. Both parents and children survived by collecting garbage, sorting it, and reselling it. Most of these people didn't know how to read or write. Sister Manuel moved in with them to give them hope and to teach them that God is love. She has built a school, a clinic, 
a vocational center in soccer fields. She says, I wouldn't want to be anywhere else because here I feel I am giving the life of Jesus Christ to the children. So Sister Emmanuel knows how to serve. Okay. Now the last part of page 41 is, is titled, A Moment with Jesus. And in every chapter we go through during the year, there's going to be one page which has a moment with Jesus. Okay, and I will read that. <clears throat> kind of bows your head and think about it. Is there someone in your family who needs your prayers? Pray to Jesus now for that person telling him about this family member's needs. Trust that Jesus will bring peace and comfort to him or her. Thank Jesus for his loving care. Amen. Okay. That's page 41. All right. So it is a kind of reminder. Jesus says, if we forgive others, God will forgive us. Treating others like we want to be treated. Okay. Um, the review on page 42. And I'll read that. First section is called, Add a Happy Ending. So I'll read this, and then you can kind of think to yourself what a happy ending would be for each one of these circumstances. So the first one is, Tyrone bumped into Carlos in the hall. Carlos's lunchbox opened and food spilled under the floor. Okay, now think in your minds what Tyrone could do. He could apologize to him, okay? He could help him pick up the lunch stuff, and if any of it was spoiled, if he had the monies with him, he could offer to buy, buy him food for, um, for that. Okay, and just be more careful in this next time. Second instance, all of Daniel's, Danica's friends brought money to buy a treat, but Danica was unable to bring any money. Through one of her friends, what might you do? Might lend her some money if he had some extra money, or share with her uh, the treat if he had enough for for both of you, so so that she wouldn't feel kind of left out. Okay. Third instance. Miguel and Connor were good friends. Both boys tried out for a part in a play. Miguel got a part, but Connor did not. So imagine how Connor felt, perhaps. What might Miguel do? Well, he could, uh, in, in addition to just kind of sympathize with him, he could encourage him to uh, try out the next time for, for a part in a play, or... Um, work with him on that so they kind of felt as a, a part of the group. Okay. Third one. Marisol laughed and teased her brother about his new haircut. Not sure how the haircut was, but her brother could have felt very kind of badly about that. So she after she left, she could realize what she had, had done and kind of told her brother that it, it looks good and it looks okay and uh, so you won't feel embarrassed. Okay. 
Sophia's friend Molly will not talk to her because Sophia went skating with other friends without inviting Molly. Wow. Can you imagine how, Mo how Molly kind of felt? So, right now they're not talking to one another. Well, what might Molly do? She might realize perhaps maybe um, she wasn't invited because it wasn't home, or et cetera, and not take it out on, on Sophia. Sophia could could realize because she was didn't invite Molly, how either she she could before they went skating, or perhaps told her that it was go skating with her another time. So they'd still be friends. Okay. So, um, all right. So that's that. So we remember, what does Jesus say about forgiving others? Jesus says, if you forgive others, your heavenly father will forgive you. And respond by, I will forgive those who hurt me. Okay. Now the bottom of that page is called Building Family Faith. And the chapter summary is, the gospel shows how Jesus curing sick people, forgiving sins, and teaching all about how to live in his love. As Jesus' followers, we share his concerns for others and forgive those who have hurt us. Okay? Under reflection, discuss uh, when Jesus returned to Capernaum after some days it became known that he was at home. They came bringing him in a, in a paralytic carried by four men. Okay. 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 So that is those in the chapter. Um, now what I do have is, is I had the last couple of classes, it's called a quiz. And this would be chapter five quiz. So if you got your pen, pencil, and paper, and, if, and since you don't have it in your book, you could write it down there, we can kind of cover it. Now the, the first five are true false. Okay, true or false. And now, um, reading sentence, I'll give you a couple of minutes to write in your answer, and then we'll cover it. Okay? The first one is, Jesus' words and actions taught us how to live holy and happy lives. That's under number one. Jesus' words and actions taught us how to live holy and happy lives. That would be either true or false. Second one. Baptized Christians try to live like Jesus and follow his teachings. Baptized Christians try to live like Jesus and follow his teachings. Okay, number three. As written in the Bible, Jesus gave life back to Matthew's son. Okay, number four, when we pray the Lord's Prayer, we address Jesus, our Father. When we pray the Lord's Prayer, we address Jesus, our Father. And number five, in the Lord's Prayer, we praise God and ask for all our needs. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, give you a second to uh, finish putting in T or an F or true or false in for each one of those five. And then I'll kind of cover them. Okay, the first one, I'll read it again. Jesus' words and actions taught us how to live holy 
and happy lives. I believe that's true. Okay. Number two, baptized Christians try to live like Jesus and follow his teachings. Also true. Number three, as written in the Bible, Jesus gave life back to Matthew's son. Okay, true. Fourth one, when we pray the Lord's Prayer, we address Jesus our Father. I think that would be false because we, we address God. God, okay? And in the Lord's Prayer, number five, we praise God and ask for all our needs. And that would be true. Okay, so you kind of count up how many got right, how many got wrong. And you put that on your sheet of paper. <clears throat> okay, and then the next five, there's five more here. Uh, this is where you'd write the, the answer that correctly completes each sentence about the Lord's Prayer. And I'll give you what we call the word bank. And the word bank uh, contains five words. So you write these down, please. The words are forgive, holy, temptation, father, with a capital F, and Eucharist, capital E, E-U-C-H-A-R-I-S-T. Okay, that's the word bank from which you would put the uh, five five answers in. Okay, you got those written down. All right, I will read number six. God, everyone's loving, and you fill in the blank, has given us life. Okay. Number seven. We pray that all people will respect God and God's fill in the blank name. Okay. Number eight. We ask for food and for the living bread, the blank. Choose a word from the word bank. Number nine. We ask God to blank us our sins as we forgive others and the last one we ask God to help us in times of blank okay I'll give you a minute or two to um, put your uh, answer into each of the number six seven eight nine and ten and then we'll cover those Okay, why don't we start with number six. I'll read it again. God, everyone's loving Father, has given us life. So the word Father would be in there. Number seven, we pray that all people will respect God in God's holy name. Put the word holy in there. I think it would fit best. Number eight, we ask for food and for the living bread, the Eucharist. Okay. Number nine, we ask God to forgive us our sins as we forgive others. The word forgive. And number ten, we ask God to help us in times of in time of temptation. Okay, so those are the five answers. So if you want to kind of mark yourself for how, how many you got right, how many got wrong, so you can show that to your parents. Okay. Now I got a couple of little things. Um, one is a little story. And the story is about St. Thomas More. 
St. Thomas More is the 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 uh, the name of the uh, church. In fact, where I am right now, St. Thomas More Church. Okay, and in fact, as I read this story about St. Thomas More, I happen to have a statue of St. Thomas More. 